You're watching Amateur Attempts, the show where I take recipes on YouTube and try to recreate them. As an amateur in the kitchen, today we're making J. Kenji Lopez Alt Spaghetti Aglio e Olio with fried shallots. So spaghetti aglio e olio is just basically Italian speak for garlic infused spaghetti, which is not true, I just made that up. But what it is, is you get sliced garlic into some oil, kind of infuse the flavor into the oil, toss the pasta, al dente pasta, in there with some pasta water, it emulsifies, creates a sauce, add some parsley at the end to finish it, also give it a hint of herbaceousness because parsley is not like particularly flavorful. You also add chili flakes in there, just give it a little kick on the back end. And this recipe is different because it has the addition of crispy fried shallots. I tried to find these in the store, could not find them, so I tried to make them myself, and I burned them. So let's get started. So this recipe is fairly simple. All I have to do is boil some water, get the pasta in there, and then while that's going, I'll get some oil heating up in the background, slice this garlic, get it thinly sliced, put the garlics into the oil, get it lightly brown, just like a very light brown, and then we'll give this parsley a chop, get it relatively fine, and then we'll just throw it all together, see it come together. It's a relatively quick process, but you kind of have to be delicate with it because there's a nuance involved. So while my water is boiling, I'm just gonna slice this garlic, finish up slicing the garlics, and that should be about it. We're gonna get into the oil with some red pepper flake, and that's pretty much halfway there. The garlic has since been sliced, as you can probably see. We got nice little thin slices, almost translucent in here. And so last but not least, we have multiple more steps. And the next part is cutting the parsley into a fine dice. So we got a nice little mound of parsley right here. It's all chopped up, that good shit. And we're just gonna add the spaghetti to the boiling water. And then we should be pretty much there after a few more steps. So now that the pasta is boiling, we're just gonna add the garlic to the oil and start that infusion process. All this garlic, no slice left behind. The goal right now is to just get it a light toasty color. You don't want to brown it because then it's going to get too bitter. But I actually think my heat is too high right now, so I'm going to lower it a little bit as we just want like a light golden color. Light golden shower, never hurt anyone. In addition to the garlic, I'm also going to add some pepper flake and see if we can get that nicely heated up, incorporate that into the oil, get some heat distributed throughout the pasta. So the pasta is now al dente and the garlic is lightly cooked. We got the red pepper flake in there. The only thing left is to add some of these shallots, the parsley, the pasta, emulsify everything, save some of the shallots for garnish, and we should be just about done after a few more steps. And first things first, we're done. The pasta's here. It's ready to go. We got the crispy fried shallots on top as well as some parsley for garnish. We incorporated the oil with the pasta water with the garlic. It's looking good. I have high hopes for this, but it's a relatively simple dish. It's probably gonna be good because there's not much to mess up anyway. Erm, um, what the shallot? So it's actually pretty good, but is it like restaurant level quality meal? I don't think so. I think this is a very great weeknight meal, something you can put together in like 10 to 15 minutes, but it doesn't blow my socks off. What it does do though, is it has a ton of depth. It uh, has a nice herbaceousness that cuts through the pasta from the parsley. I think the fried shallots add like a nice richness and the oil is actually the least heavy part about all of this. It's well seasoned, garlic is nice, subtle hint on the back end, the spiciness, is not overbearing. We just added a little bit of flakes just for like that foundational heat. So for something so simple, I think this is actually a really great dish. Is it reinventing the wheel? Not quite, but you know, I don't think you can go wrong with this. So definitely try this yourself. And with all that said, I'd like to thank my patrons. Thank you to Eggox. Thank you to Max Gin. Thank you to everyone on the fridge. I appreciate all your contributions past and present. That's pretty much all I have for you today. Uh, I'm gonna finish this though.